Okay folks, welcome to the next video and it's Monday night and I don't feel like I've done a lot but I've edited a video I have finished off dry chair apart from her face so she's pretty cool, I need to get her based but yeah, she's done and I decided to give airbrush stencils a go uh, on the Harlequins so what I've done is I've used the Green Stuff World Chameleon Flip Paint uh, and I put the diamonds on the front, so obviously the, the ones with the green fins I've done green, purple fins I've done purple, and of course the blue fins I've done blue. They're not really, really stark, but they're enough to stand out and just add a little bit extra. Do you like them? I love them. Yeah. I think it it's just enough to make it a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah. So, and it just gives it that little extra... Harlequin feel. Mm -hmm. So I did go right to the back and, and you know just fade it in down here. So that's all I've done. But Lucy, Lucy finished off the Griff Hound. She's painted all the um, harnesses, the bolts, and of course all the beaks are purple. <laughs> and the eyes. And the eyes. She's finished off the Lawmaster. So she airbrushed his sword and tried a little bit of airbrushing on here, but yeah, you finished them off and he's he's pretty nice. Yeah, I like him. I'm not happy with him. You're not? No. Why? I don't know, I started off with loads of good intentions for him, I was going to do this, be amazing, but it's, I, just, I think he was too small mm. for us to really do much with. I so, like his claw. Yeah, on the theme of small, she stripped primed and then actually zenithral highlighted these <laughs> what's this my new army new army lovely so you guessed right she's doing slash <laughs> everyone knows i love the models and i wanted them but i was just a set uh yeah, I liked Order and Stormcast, but I gave in. <laughs> so she's used uh, Demon at Hide and sprayed all of it. Then she uh, used Slanesh Grey from the top, washed with Druji Violet, and then Slanesh Grey from the top. Mm. And I didn't do any of it. I told her how to do it. Yep. And she did it all of it all of herself. Uh huh. Um, I know it's pretty much exactly how Games Workshops painted them, but it's purple and pinky and. <laughs> Obvious for me, that other two armies, that's what I love. So I'm doing them mostly like that, with, with some bits of pieces of me on. And of course a giant soul grinder. He's not going to be... Right, I'm going to make another one as well. With the proper claw legs, but I'm basically practising me seeing the, me colours on this guy. Um. So yeah, done much in the same way, apart from he's had a dry brush of luscious lilac on top. Yep, and he's got a wonky leg. Well... It just needs glue and but there. So all the pipes are going pink. Mm -hmm. All the tubes will be going the dark pink. I'm going to be doing black around the shale things, and this is going to go bright pink. Full green pink. Lovely. Yeah. And then I'll do what else I'll be doing for the rest. So that is it. Not a lot for me, but quite a bit for you. Yeah, it's usually the other way around. I know. To be but... fair, he, I kept breaking the airbrush, <laughs> so yeah, I stop every two minutes and fix it for us. Yeah, because we were using a base colour by GW that doesn't have an air range. Uh, I had to thin it down massively and it kept on clogging. So, yeah. But uh, you're taking this home. I am. And going to crack on with it and see where she gets to. Meanwhile... Who knows what I'm going to work on during the week. Probably just stick to the Death Watch mm -hmm. uh, and get them finished. But uh, we'll see you another day in a few days' time. Right, guys, it's Tuesday night. Not much of an update from me. I've done quite a bit of editing tonight uh, after I've gotten in from college. Um, about two, two and a half hours' work altogether. Uh, so I've edited a battle report and I've edited a tutorial because these guys are finished. The Colonel Thunders... Uh, which I mentioned previously. That guy's scythe needed finishing off, so I've just done that on camera and edited that battle report. 
uh, tutorial. Uh, Death Watch, I've done the first layer of highlights on all of the black armor using Eshin Grey on those eight guys. And I put the towel feet together using some broadside arms, the beads and the dowel. I've drilled a hole in the dowel and used an old paintbrush uh, to go all the way through. So basically there's his feet. But yeah, not much. But we'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Right guys, welcome back. It's Thursday night and I haven't done much tonight. I've been to college. Last night I was exhausted and I went to sleep. At about 8.30 so I got a good sort of 11 hours kip. Anyway, I've done edge highlighting with Eshin Grey on the Corvus. And I've touched the reds up again, done another coat of reds. Uh, and touched the reds up on the eight guys down there. Uh, I made these. So I tried out the new stripping method uh, and stripped some old marines and I've got the cake pillars that I aimed to turn into Blood Angel objective markers previously. But my attempt to fill them with blood, PVA glue, didn't really work too well. So I've stuck a 32mm base and then a 25mm base with the Space Marine on. And I've got six of them and I figured I could do one of them in each of the main chapters. So like Blood Angel, Ultramarine, Space Wolf. Um, Basically, you tell me the six chapters you want, and I'll paint each of them in the six chapters. I wanted six of these guys, the all clipped together ones, but I only had five, so this one's going to have to do uh, for the extra one. But yeah, there we go. Six, and I'll just paint the numbers on the side. Uh, but I'll even try and put all the transfers and everything on uh, as well. So I've done them, I've touched this up, and I've done the feet for the town are. So I've ended up using broadside missiles as like the extra tours. Uh, and even when they were stood flat, it was because of the positioning of the angles of the feet, it was really hard to get them into place. So what I've done is basically use the base to get stuff to sit flush. And you might be able to see there. So basically his feet are on bases and they leveled out that way. So I've got to paint them up and then he's done, apart from I'm still waiting for the Ion Rail Cannon on the top. Whatever it's called. So that's it. Not loads done tonight. And tomorrow night I'm gaming with Steven. Uh, so you'll see that battle report in a couple of weeks. Uh, and then Saturday, if I get this guy finished, I'm playing with Lucy. And then Lucy is playing Age of Sigma with Phil. So... Yeah, I've oh, and I've edited one hour and ten minutes of a one hour twenty three battle report so far. So I'll probably finish that off uh, and then head to bed and get these guys sprayed up tomorrow. Okay, guys, it's Sunday night, and unfortunately, I haven't actually getting that much painting done. Lucy, on the other hand, has. <laughs> so uh, I've done little bits and pieces on the Death Watch. So I've done like the bone. I think I touched up the red. Uh, and the yellow and things like that. Not really enough compared to what I wanted to do. I did dry brush these guys blue. I need to dry brush them white and then paint the marines on the top. But I've got six marines. I want you guys to tell me which six chapters to paint them. And it's got to be one of the nine. I think this is just probably the airbrush. It's got to be one of the nine. Oh. She has. You might want to turn turn it off on the switch on the top. Yeah, it'll empty. So, uh, yeah, got to be one of the nine founding chapters. So tell me which ones. And of course they're going to be numbered one through to six. Yeah, having fun. <laughs> uh, I did spray Bellacore. So of course he has got a darker chest like he should have so I might get him painted up this week he shouldn't take much at all uh, to get painted up uh, Lucy finished dry chair you painted the Flit of Furies I did, not very much but I'll take it yeah. uh, and then of course the feet on the town are um, the Navy done, I've just got to dry brush it and then add the snow uh, yeah 
The only thing I don't like is it is very, very unstable, and I didn't count on how unstable that was going to be. Um, so I think I need to actually put a pin in this joint and up into his thigh. Mm -hmm. um, right there. There you go. <laughs> so, what's this, Lucy? It's the start of my new army. Yep, it is an exalted chariot. It is. But, she's been airbrushing. <laughs> so these guys, she's just done the top coat on here, because uh, you forgot to do the top. No, I ran out. Oh yeah, and she wasn't going to... Um... So a new load of, like a new set of... Um... Fill the airbrush up again for the sake of MPA models. When on Thursday, yep. I'll be getting another star collecting box. Yep. So basically, she washed <laughs> and re highlighted all of them. So there's five seekers, uh, there's a few, uh, what's it called? Se uh, seekers there for the chariot and of course the two heralds. The mask of Slanesh is even floating around somewhere. There she is. She's there. She needs washing and then a, a, a top coat of. Uh, of Slanesh Grey. And who's this? That is my Sloan the Sloan Sloan, Sloan the Sword Grinder. He is going to get converted where his claws are. Yep, James Jones, one of our Patreons, is very kindly going to send us some um, Horror Specs claws from Tyranids. So we're going to take these two metal claws off here uh, and replace them with crab claws. But basically, he was. What I've used to practice me paint scheme, and I quite like it. And Lucy has painted this all of herself. You can see how where uh, you can actually see the definition on all the muscles and everything quite well. You've done a good job with the airbrush. <laughs> you have. But uh, we've got some demonites down here, which is what she painted up last week. So she started adding more detail onto the black of the claws and the corsets, and a little bit of silver on there. So she hasn't gone that far with them, but they're basically the practice ones from my bits box. Um, and then she's done a little bit of a conversion. <laughs> a demon prince with crab claws and a boob. And a booby. Now the boob is green stuff. Lucy made it. I just happened to blend it in. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't really like using green stuff. But I think for my next army I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to get used to it. And of course she's hacked the claws off. Uh, no, the hands. Uh, and used some turner crushing claws that I had spare because I pulled one of my kind of fixes to part the turn him into a stone crusher. So he's, he's not sprayed yet because no. what your next army you already know about it. I've got all the parts for it, I just haven't done it. Okay, then. Me, me jeans still a coat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant a new, new, no, 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 no new, new armies for Harry yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, we're going to wait until we get the next box of demonettes because uh, these were very kindly uh, off Philip. So we're going to wait until we get the next box of demonettes and use some spare hair that we have left over and basically give yes. him demonette hair. And chop these off because I'm not keen on them. Yeah. I've got a few of the demon prince heads so we'll maybe just have a look in my bits box. Yeah. Maybe just pull the whole head off. But that's it. Not a lot this week. Uh, but... Well, you got a lot done. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's only really base course, but for the fact that it's only been the weekend, so I've had to do it, it's not that bad. Not bad, not bad at all. I need to get these guys finished off this week. Yes, he's been saying it every day. <clears throat> got to do the death watch, got to do the death watch. And I, yeah, no. You have technically finished the crown off on us as well, but you haven't based them. Yes, there is that. Um, I think I'm going to do some airbrushing tomorrow, then I might as well do uh, Dreitch's base. Uh, and the three kind of hunters, mm -hmm. and then they're done. But yeah, this bad lad is nearly finished. I literally just need to finish off the feet. Um, but like I said, I think I'm definitely gonna put, gonna have to put a pin up into his leg. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll have to, otherwise he's literally just gonna snap every time. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think this is my mission for this week: is them Bella Core base the kind of hunters, do them, and do his feet. And I will congratulate you when you finish, because I'm doing nothing for five days. No, I thought you were taking this home. Yeah, but eight, eight, <laughs> nine times eight, which is the ten I take them home, I do nothing. Yeah. So, shall we have a look 
at what everyone else has been up to this week. Yes, some very good stuff coming up as per usual, and some sick stuff as per usual. Like a sloppity bile piper. <laughs> Lucy played against the sloppity bile piper. Mm. Oh, that, that, that's worth pointing out as well. Actually, we, we we filmed two games this weekend. Yeah, we did. So, that's why not as much hobby got done. Because I played Friday. Oh, so funny. On Saturday, tried to give me uh, fill the camera to do her own battle report. Yeah, it didn't work. So, I ended up filming. Oh, uh, funny. I didn't want to because my back was a bit sore. But, mm. I went for it anyway. Your channel. Yeah, my channel. And, and my girlfriend and my best friend won't even help us. <laughs> on the oh. one day, on the one day. All I pay for you, all I pull up with bloody Warhammer every five <laughs> minutes. All I build for you? All <laughs> you convince me to get? That's Tom Meeker's fault. Tom Meacher. Even. I don't even know who that is, so don't blame anyone else. <laughs> it's Tom's fault. It's you. I put up so much. She does. She's a star though. So yeah, let's have a look at what everyone else has been up to, and there's a lot of submissions this time. So please watch till the end of the video, please see what everyone's been up to, because there's some great stuff. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we go any further though, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has recently joined us on Patreon. Uh, for one week early access to battle reports as well. So thank you very much to everybody that supports us via patreon uh so we've got quite a lot of submissions this week to get through so i'm gonna be very quick with them uh, just give me opinions of them and what i think of them as we go along but first up though we have Baza barry from underdog painting check him out if you want some commissions done and these are his iron warriors so we've got a full squad done there i think that's a praetor uh Normal one and then one in Terminator Armour. I love the silver that he's done. It's very dark, very gritty. Uh, and the bases that he's done with it goes very well indeed. And it actually distracts from the brilliant job I think he's done with the faces. Um, so fantastic work from Barry there. Uh, next up we've got Austin Weatherall and his Blood Angels. Very reminiscent of the Howling Griffins. Uh, but a much richer, uh, deeper yellow. And I really, really like it. Of course, as a Blood Angel fan, how can I not like this? So it looks as though we've got an Ancient, a Lieutenant, two squads of Intercessors, and a Predator. So really, really good job on that 500 points, and uh, I can't wait to see more of them. Next up, we've got Bryn Hill. Bryn's only done a tiny bit of work this week, he said, which was rebase this guy. But nevertheless, mate, as per usual, outstanding work indeed. I know he's off at the beginning of February, so I'm hoping to be able to fit in a game against Bryn. Next up, we've got Graham Donaldson's Skaven. Loads and loads of tiny rats and loads and loads of rat organs, of course. Who doesn't love rat organs, Graham? And of course, we've got Warpfire Cannons there as well. The Horrible and Sigma, I've got no idea in fantasy, but Graham's still massively into his fantasy. Uh, so if you're in the Sunderland area and you want to play fantasy, Go and join the Battle Bunker page, uh, and Graham's probably more than happy to give you a game. There's a few of the lads on there, uh, Sean and Liam as well. Next up, we've got James Fusco's uh, Imperial Sentinel. And, of course, it looks very much like um, one of the walkers from Return of the Jedi. I absolutely love this model, and the, uh, the picture that he's took it is very thematic. It's very clean. Um... With the armor and everything and it's nice that it's different i love it james keep up the good work and uh, next up we've got james McHugh, and he's one of a gajillion contemptors that he's finished this week uh, and this is an iron warriors one james's weathering is absolutely fantastic the the amount of shades that he's got on the base the amount of different colors that he's got going on the iron james isn't afraid to put in purples reds blues and everything in all of the iron uh, and in the golds in there as well so amazing work mate fantastic and then we've got his um chapter ancient from his homebrew chapter of the solaris reapers uh again absolutely fantastic weather and stuff around the bottom of the boots uh, james has been running the competition for people to paint their own solaris reapers um 
yeah, absolutely fantastic work. Go and check out Three Point Circle on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, next up, we've got Jim Smith's Corgus Cull. Corgus Cull is a fantastic dude. I love his rules. He's brilliant. Uh, and I know James is dabbling with Age of Sigma. Um, and you got the start set quite a while back. But it's really nice to see more corn on. on more corn on? More corn being painted up by people. Next up, we've got a couple of pictures from Jessica Smart. She's finished some Nurglings. And uh, she didn't send a picture, but we've got a, 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 a I can't pronounce it, a feculent Nalmor in the background as well. Uh, but I love how Jess has got two or three different shades of greens on the Nurglings there as well. And she's also been working on some plasma Dark Angel Inceptors. Interceptors. I don't know which ones they are, but. I, I love these models. I absolutely love the visors that they've got. You only get two in the box though, so the sergeant that can't wear his, which which is kind of down, but I love the models. I think they're fantastic, and I really, really enjoy painting mine for me Blood Angels. Next up, we've got Kevin from Rage Against the Dice, and he's been painting up some Lord of the Rings stuff. Uh, I'm guessing that's the one ring. Uh, but nevertheless, I, d I don't know how you paint these, mate. Like, the detail on these is phenomenal. They are absolutely tiny models. Like, they go up to the, like, the knee of a Space Marine. <laughs> and they're, they're 25 mil bases. So outstanding work as always, Kevin. Um, please go and check them out on, fit on YouTube. Uh, he plays a lot of the sort of niche games. Uh, a lot of Walking Dead and stuff like that as well. Next up, we've got Luke Evans. He started on Mortarian, and he says he regrets gluing them all together and wish he'd done, done him in sub-assemblies. Yeah, <laughs> that might have been an idea. Uh, nevertheless, Mortarian is a fantastic model, Luke. I can see you've already started on the wings, um, and I would love to paint one. But not for the price bracket. I know you've been working on your Death Guard, so it would be great to see him. Uh, and see what you do with him. Next up, we've got uh, Megan's Blood Angel uh, Storm Raven. She went to Warhammer World with Nathan and Michael Botrell. Um, I love the red. You guys always do really nice reds, and I never do. So, really, really good work there. I love that you've actually finished it off totally with all the transfers on the wing and, of course, the side as well. So, well done there. Uh, next, we've got Michael's Ultramarine Destroyers. I'm going to hazard a guess that the 30k, because obviously old mark armor, black, uh, and I haven't heard of destroyers. So I'm going to hazard a guess that they are for 30k. Um, great models. The black is such a difficult color to work with, Michael, and you've done a really, really good job um, of highlighting them up here as well. So fantastic stuff there. Next up, we've got Mikey Herbert from Hellstorm Wargaming. Mikey is an absolute lad. Go and check out Hellstorm Wargaming on Twitch and YouTube for battle reports. Uh, Mikey's going back to No Retreat. Um, obviously, obviously, I met Mikey before we went uh, to No Retreat 5. Uh, and he's going back along with Dan as well. And this is Gabriel Angelos, Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens. Uh, and of course, Mikey's Blood Ravens are awesome. So, yeah, go and check them out. Ha, ha, ha. Here we go. Mikey Mowat. Legend. Wow. The tones that you've got going on in the flesh here. Even the pinkness of this guy's nipple is unbelievable. Such a good job. I don't know how you do it, Mikey. I, I, <laughs> Zangor's... The models themselves don't appeal to me. But I love what you've done with the metals with the blue shading on there. And... You've really, really made the flesh pop on this. It's absolutely outstanding stuff. Um, yeah, keep up the awesome work, man. I look forward to finding out uh, what you get done for this. Is it for Age of Sigma or is it for 40k though? Um, either way, they look phenomenal. Next up, we have Paul Spuddy Shaw's Contemptor, which he has converted from, a, I think he said it was a normal Forge World one. Uh, and he's converted it up for his 30k custodes. So really nice work. I love the purple instead of the red. It's really nice. 
I think purple and gold go really well together, um, especially with like Lucy Stormcast. And this just looks absolutely great, mate. So, so top notch work there. And there, of course, is his entire uh, 30k custard so far. Next up, we have uh, the Death Guard he's been working on as well. Just built, just primed, but these are beautiful models. I love the reaping sides on them, uh, and I love the older mark of armor. So I can't wait to see you finish them off. If they're anything like your others, they're going to be awesome. Next up, we've got Phil Sanderson and the Flash. Boom. Absolutely love the Flash. I don't know whether this is a metallic red filler, whether it's just the way you took the photo, but it looks absolutely brilliant. I've never played Batman, but yeah, the, you've done a good job plugging away at different characters each week. Last week was Killer Croc, this week is The Flash, next week, who knows. Next up we've got Sam Goodwin's Imperial Fist Razorback. Sam, yellow, amazing, wow. Next, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sam, this this is top quality work, man. I, I, this is unbelievable. Yellow is such a hard colour to do, and you make it look easy, man. Um, if anyone is interested in commissions, please get in touch with Sam. Uh, you can see him, or get in touch with him. If you go on to my personal Facebook um, and look down the friend list, he is on there. Drop him a message if you're interested. Next up, we've got some Shades by Terrain by Scott Longworth. Uh, this is 3D printed stuff. He's made it himself. Uh, I absolutely love this. I think this is brilliant for the blank spaces that you've got there. Of course, it's already on the right hexagon size uh, bases. You've got a piece there in the background which is on three and the piece which is on two. And he's painted this up really well. I love the green and the greys that he's got going on there to represent how old it is. This, I, I want to say a piece of shade glass. The little welder he's got, the archway. This is fantastic stuff. This is available to buy. If you are interested, get in touch with Scotty. Again, he's on my friends list. But th this is great, mate. I really, really like this a lot. And, of course, sticking with the theme of Shadespire, Scott's also working on his Iron Skulls Art Boys. Here we go. The red tattoo looks class. And I think last week you'd done started the yellow. Uh, so obviously you see a bit more detail in there and your progression this week is really cool and I can't wait to see them finished, especially on a board with that terrain. Uh, next up we've got Shane Sanderson and we've got uh, Thousand Sun Sorcerer. He's painted it with the Forge World uh, reds. I'm forgetting the name of the colour that it's called. Uh, he did mention it online to us previously. Um... But yeah, Shane, Shane actually submitted this last week, but it was after uh, the deadline for week three video, so he's probably done even more than that. But the gold looks outstanding, um, highlighted in silver. And the red, I don't even know. I, I, I think it was Forge World Clear Red or something, and he said it took about five quarts. But the effect that it gives on top of the gold is absolutely phenomenal, mate. So really, really nice job. Next up, we've got Stephen Boxall and his Dark Angels Contempt the Dreadnought. It's currently work in progress, but as always, Stephen, your stuff is going to turn out phenomenal. He said the green is actually a lot brighter on the picture than it was uh, in person. So hopefully we shall see the finished picture next week. But you're a really fast and really good painter, Stephen. Um... And it's top-notch work, man. So, like I said, I really can't wait to see it next week. Next up, we've got Stephen Dunn. After our game on Friday, he went home and finished off this Primaris Chaplain. Top-notch model, and I need to pull my finger out and get mine. And, as always, Stephen, great work. Really fast-paced painter, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. So, great stuff. Next up, we've got Tony... My good mate Tony has done an, a Stormhawk Interceptor uh, for his Grey Knights. And of course, I need to finish mine because Lucy's now working on a Slanesh, which means she's not interested in painting my stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tony, as awesome as this is, my Crimson Hunter is going to shoot it down. <laughs> but now, keep up the good work, man, and it'll be a pleasure to see you again soon. 
Next up, we've got Will Galloway and we've got Red Skinned Orcs. Will, where do you, on earth, do you get your ideas from? Because I want them. <laughs> Will does some crazy, crazy conversions, some really out there paint schemes, and I absolutely love it. I really wish I could have seen his Iron Man towel before he sold them. Uh, but Red Skinned Orcs just reminds me of, of Red Hulk. <laughs> so, yeah. And just rounding things off, we've got another picture from Shane. Uh, a full... Oh, what they're called. I don't even know what they're called. Thousands. Rubric Marines, that's it. Uh, a full squad of Rubric Marines. Um, I'm going to hazard a guess that it's quite a while uh, to paint up, mate. But these look outstanding. Um, I hope you're going to be doing a full force of them. Because if you get them finished... And you don't sell them before I get back down to Warhammer World to meet up with you again. I want a game. Absolutely. So that is all of the pictures for this week, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, lots and lots of great work out in the community. Um, it's outstanding that so many people are doing so much. And such varied armies and everything as well. Um, so if you would like to submit your pictures, you can submit them to the email address listed above. Uh, and if you do want to support us on Patreon for early access to battle reports, uh, again, the link is just up there. So thank you very much to everybody that took part, and we'll see you again in the next video.